Mariam Namazi. Mariam Namazi. I, I am very happy to meet you because just yesterday I put online on Twitter and Facebook your interview in Le Point um, and I didn't know that I was about to meet you today so I am very happy. I shall, I shall translate okay. it. Uh, thank you very much for having me here. It's a great honor to uh, say that I am always Charlie. Of course, the left uh, should always and has historically always been a relentless critic of religion. It's uh, key for human progress and it's a historical task when you can be killed for it. One in three countries have blasphemy laws, they criminalize them, and 13 kill for blasphemy, and those are, of course, all Islamic. When that is the case, we must celebrate blasphemy. <laughs> Defending Charlie is a defense of those who refuse and resist, like ex-Muslims, because of bacon. Or ex-Muslim because no 72 virgins for me. <laughs> so um, this is uh, with uh, some feminine and other activists. Uh, I cut the Allah out of the Iranian flag and put something much better in its place. <laughs> oh, ah, you see, an, an autre. We also uh, went to uh, Gay Pride in London. Ça c'est une manifestation à Londres. And uh, the police said people are offended. They are not offended to say Jesus is gay, but they are offended when you say Allah is gay. It's double standards and it implies that offense is worse than murder. And of course, immediately always the label of Islamophobia. Islamophobia is used to scaremonger people into silence. <laughs> and of course, Pride in London, they said that they will not tolerate Islamophobia and may not allow us to go back again next year. And of course, uh, Pride in London, like many, are the collaborators with our Nazis, our Islamists. And of course, one of the issues is that when we defend Charlie, people say this is Western. But there are many who want to live and think freely across the world. An Iranian cartoonist, Hadi Haydari, was imprisoned for drawing this cartoon in solidarity with the attacks in Paris. Atena Fardani is a cartoonist who was sentenced initially to 12 years in prison for a cartoon that showed the Iranian government officials as animals. Of course, there are also the Turkish columnists who printed Charlie Hebdo's cover and were imprisoned for and sentenced to two years in prison. They never pixelate dead bodies, but they pixelate a cartoon of Muhammad. <laughs> and of course, uh, uh, you know, uh, this dissent against Islam, criticism against Islam, is something that has taken place historically in countries influenced by Islam or under Islamic rule, like this cartoon of Mullah Nasruddin, pilgrimage to Hajj. A donkey is leading them. The famous Iranian anti-religion writer, Sadeh Hedayat, who said, amongst other things, heaven is the best excuse in the world to make the world hell. And of course, it's not just cartoonists and writers, uh, but uh, this is Omar Mohammad Batawil, a 17-year-old atheist from Yemen who was killed because he was an atheist. On Facebook, he said, they accuse me of atheism. Oh, you people, I see God in the flowers and you see him in the graveyards. That is the difference between you, me and you. <laughs> defending Charlie is defending Sina Dehkan, who has been given the death sentence in Iran for insulting Islam. 
It is defending Raif Badawi in Saudi Arabia. It is also a defense of religious minorities and including believers who are often persecuted under blasphemy and apostasy laws. Defending Charlie is defending the unveiling movement in Iran. <laughs> defending Charlie is defending the demand for bread, work and freedom and an end to the Islamic regime of Iran. Free expression is for the weak, it is for the disenfranchised, it is for the poor, it is for the hungry against the powerful, it's not a luxury. It is for the HEPCO workers in Iran who have not pay, been paid their wages for 26 months. I want to show you one video of the HEPCO workers. <laughs> اما حاضر شدی بزار خوده نفر باتون کاری کنی نتیجه اخلاقی آقا باور کن پولیس هم با دوست زنته این چرا داره آین میکنی دیگه آقا دست به جایی نمیرسه دوست ها خیالشون راحت اونایی که دارن کار خانه جاتو میزنن زمین خیالشون راحت این پلیس این استاندار با اونای آقا خیالتون تخت هر کاری دوست داری انجام بده هیچ کچت نماشه آقا چون هیچ کاری ما نمیتونیم بکنیم تا این اوزامونه ما الان چند کیلومتر راه رفتیم چقدر آمدیم که خیابانه رفتیم تمام دنیا هب کنه به اسم میبرن بعد تو خونه خودمان آقا بکر خودمان نیستن بعد اخبار باز میکنیم میامد لبنان غصب من نور نورم بخورم من خرم چیزن و من سمان آقی تونم بدم دیست چه دینیه دیست چه مسلمانیه حالا شروع شد امام حسین امام حسین تا هزار چهارصد سال پیش بود حالا تبل و ساعت دوازه شب میزنی تو سر زنه بچه گشته من تبل چی؟ سم تبل میگیره با بانه تبل میبره Very impressive. So, so of course, I am the HEPCO workers. I am the women's revolution in Iran. I am the hundreds who have been uh, arrested. Actually, now the, the numbers are over a thousand people have been arrested for the protests over the past six days. I am the 21 people who have been killed in the protests. I am Sina Dehkan. I am Raif Badawi. And I am always, always Charlie. Thank you. Something very interesting in the interview I read of you, uh, of you. Um, in a good part of our press and the media here in France pretend um, that it is about food mainly, it's not about religion. And in what you're saying, I found out that, yes, it's about religion too. Yes, it's definitely about religion because when workers go out to strike, the government says striking is haram, it's religiously not prohibited. When or, uh, workers organize May Day, they flog workers and they say that it is a crime against the Islamic regime. All these hungry people who've been arrested, they are saying that they are enemies of God and that they are fighting a system of God. So it has a lot, everything to do with religion as well. Thank you very much. Oui, oui c'est à propos de la religion, c'est pas seulement euh, puisque on leur dit que quand ils font grève, ils font quelque chose d'interdit par la religion, comme c'est facile la religion dans ces cas-là, n'est-ce pas politiquement euh, Merci beaucoup. Thank you.